the VCW is a structure and flexible tool that helps to find the solutions with the biggest potentials for your problems, is a tool that helps to solve complex problems, allows to simultaneously look inside and outside organization by involving both internal and external stakeholders, and facilitates both the generation of ideas and their selection criteria. I have here just a table as an example for you to understand the kind of industries you can apply to and the kind of problems you can try to solve. After a compilation of these, let's say, 20 years of research, I thought, okay, why not have now a tool that could be uh, a problem-solving methodology to help organizations, to help people, to help society to solve the problems. And then Tiago appeared. Is when you have a problem to solve, it doesn't matter if you are speaking about somebody unemployed in your family, if you are speaking about companies, if you are speaking about NGOs, if you are speaking about the government, the first step, let's say stage zero, is to understand what is going on. Then we move to the next step. The next step basically is the question mark, which is what is the most important challenge that we want to solve? What is really the pain? What is the problem? So once you have the question very well defined, we move to the brainstorming stage. The brainstorming stage is very different from the one that is being used by traditional methodologies. So what the BCW does is to split between the solutions and the filters. So we put, I will say, 100 people, it doesn't matter from where they come from, just coming up with solutions to solve the problem. So you can use all the different type of stakeholders from the organization, from internal to external stakeholders. And then you have a lot of people generating criteria to select the most important filters, the most important ideas. When we move to the filter stage, you are not expect to reject what we, I say, the devil's advocate. You know, the devil's advocate very often they give you the best ideas and they are telling you right at the beginning why the product will not work in five years time. So you should definitely put them and include them in the development process. Once this is done, you take all the ideas that came from the previous stage to the board, all the solutions. You take all the filters that came from the previous stage to the board. And then the board decides a ranking of filters, a ranking of criteria to decide which ideas should be implemented. Once we have this ranking of filters, we start with many potential solutions to solve a particular problem. And then we put filter one, filter two, filter three, until we arrive to the final solution. For the final solution, you need to design a concept, a prototype, and then, of course, once you have the final solution, it's time to decide, shall we go for it, shall we kill it, or shall we go back on the VCW to think a little bit about this. Once this process is concluded, you sit down with the board of the company, for example, and then you decide, okay, I think, we could sit down and transform the VCW into part of the innovation ecosystem of the company. Why not? Now that you know the VCW, if you want to learn more about this, you can go to the VCW channel. So just explore, just learn more about VCW, and come back to me if you believe you have a problem that you want to solve, and I'll be more than happy to, to help you. Okay? Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. Thank you.